Okay, sixth graders, this video is to help you with question one on CR1. What I do through these CR helper videos is I do problems very similar to the problems you have on your actual CR, but they're never going to be the same problem as the problem on your CR. They're just going to hit the same New York State standard. So let's take a look at this first one. It says, what completes the pattern? All right, so as I look at my pattern, I have one third, then two sixths, then three ninths, and what they want me to do is fill in the next fraction. Then if I look here, this one, part of that picture is missing. As I look here, this is one out of one, two, three boxes. This is two out of one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. This is three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes. So one thing I might look at, but I, but I will look like here if I was going to take the outer box and vertically chop it. I hope you can see we chop it there, there. So I'm just chopping it into one, two, three parts if I just look vertically. So if I go to this next one, and I chop it just vertically. I hope you can again see one, one, two, three parts. And again, if I look at this next one and I chop it vertically, I hope you can see in the red, I have one, two, three parts. So what I'd first do if this was me, I'd say, ah, well, I wonder if then for that last box, I'd start vertically chopping it into one, two, three parts. And then I'd say, okay, so this first one didn't get chopped at all horizontally. It was just a solid one. This one right here, we cut this horizontally, so then there was two boxes going down. The, so this one then horizontally, we chopped it there, and there was two boxes. And the next one going horizontally, one, one, two, three boxes. Hmm. So part of me thinks here, there's one, here, two as I'm looking horizontally, here, one, two, three as I'm looking horizontally. So my guess would probably be a four. One, two, three, four would be my guess. And then I'd shade one, two, three, Four. And now that I've chopped this up, we can see how many boxes total. Like this one here had one, two, three boxes total. This one here had one, two, three, four, five, six boxes total. This one right here had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes total. Let's see the total boxes here because that's what's going to go in the denominator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I bet you four twelfths is the answer. I bet you C would be the answer. Let me just talk to you, if we didn't have these pictures, another way to go about it. If I take one-third, my original fraction, and I multiply my numerator and my denominator by two. So I multiply numerator and denominator by the same number. I don't change the value of that fraction. Two-sixths has the same value as one-third. It's actually 0.3333333. 3 ninths has the same value as 1 third, 0 0.3333333. So anyway, if I take my 1 third and I multiply numerator and denominator by 2, straight across the top, straight across the bottom, you get 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6. You get this 2 6. If I take that original 1 third and now I chose to multiply numerator and denominator by 3, straight across the top, straight across the bottom, 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. I get that 3 ninths. And guess what? If I take my original 1 third, that just happens to be this fraction written in simplest form, and I choose to multiply numerator and denominator by 4, guess what? Straight across the top, straight across the bottom, 1 times 4 is 4, 3 times 4 is 12. There we have our 4 twelfths. So this is just picture-wise what it looks like, and these are the fractions. I hope that helps. I hope it um, maybe gave you a, a hint about how to go about the one on your actual CR.